Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 15th Node.js tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can create writable streams. Alright then gang, so in the last tutorial I showed you how we can create a readable stream to read data and visually it looks something like this. We had the data coming in down a stream, filling up a buffer and then when that buffer was full it would pass on a chunk of data to us to read and we could use a listener which was on data, which would listen out whenever we received one of these chunks of data, and then we could do something with that. We logged it to the console. But typically, we'd want to do something different with it, like send it to the client, the browser, or maybe create a new file with it. So in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we'd do something with that data. We're going to create a writable stream so we can send it along that to somewhere else. Okay then, so I'm in app.js and this is the code from the last tutorial where we created a read stream right here and we read readme.txt which is up here. Then what we did is listen out for the data event which basically means whenever we receive a chunk of data and we fired a function whenever that happened with the chunk in the function, we passed it through and then we logged to the console new chunk received. We also logged the chunk itself but I've taken that out for now. So. Now, what I'm going to do is create a writable stream so that we can write this data that we receive to that write stream and send it somewhere else. So the way we do that is, first of all, by coming up here, creating a variable, and we're going to call this my write stream. Again, you can call this whatever you want. And I'm going to set that equal to fs, and we use a method on this module again called create, you guessed it, write stream. And now we're going to create a write stream, but we need to tell it where we want to create it to. Where's this data going to? And for now, I just want to create a write me text file. So I'm going to copy this dude right here and I'm going to paste it in down here. And instead of read me, I'll call it write me. So now this is going to create a write stream, which we can write onto and send data to this path, this new file. But how do we actually do that? Well, we're going to do it every time we receive a new chunk of data from this read stream. So we're reading this, and then every time we receive a chunk of data, it fires this function and we receive that chunk of data. So then we can now write this chunk of data to the write stream here and send it to this new location. So let's do that. So the way we do that is by using this variable that we've stored the write stream in. So we'll copy that and paste it down here. And then we use a method on this called write. That's simple to remember. And then what do we want to write? We want to write this chunk of data. So let's pop that in there. So now what we're doing, just to go through it step by step, is we're reading this file by creating a read stream. Every time we receive a chunk of data, we're firing this function and we get that chunk of data. We're logging this to the console. Then we're saying, okay, well, the write stream that I created right here to this path, I want you to go ahead and write to it. And the data I want you to write to it is this chunk of data we've just received. So if I save this now, then you're going to notice when we run this application, it's going to create that writeme.txt and it's going to send the data that we receive to it. Okay. So let's say node app to run this and we see new chunk received twice, so it sent us two chunks. And you'll notice as well the writeme.txt file is up here. And we get all the same lorem ipsum in this file now that we had in the readme.txt file. So we've transferred it. But if you compare this to how we did it a few tutorials back, where we looked at the fs.read file and write file ways to do it, the difference is that we're splitting up this file into chunks of data. We're using a stream and a buffer so that we receive data more quickly. We don't have to wait until all the data has been loaded into memory and then write the file. We do it a bit at a time. So you can see the benefit of reading some kind of data, whether that be a HTML file or something else, and then sending that data to the user, a client, this way because they start to receive the data quicker by using these streams. And in fact, because we do this so often, reading streams, then writing streams and sending data from one place to another, there is actually a way to do this even quicker than all of this that we've done here in Node.js. And that is by using pipes. So we're going to take a look at pipes in the next tutorial and then how we can use 
this way of dealing with data to send information to a user. So until then, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Otherwise, guys, I'm going to see you in the very next tutorial.